Hi, welcome back to another Fast Fun Friday. Today I'm going to do something really fun and easy with some hot glue and some metallic paint on a background that I did previously. So let's get started. <laughs> I started with this background in my Dilutions Art Journal that I had done a while back. I put an iCard to that video so you can see how I created the background. And now I sprayed the page with a little bit of water from my fine mist sprayer and I am totally covering it with some watered down Titan Buff high flow acrylic paint just to get a veil of lighter color on the page. The brush, brush strokes don't really matter very much. I'm just trying to get a fairly even coverage and keeping the page wet. Then I am just dipping my fingers into my water basin and sprinkling some water onto that wet paint that I just applied. And as you can see it's creating some droplets that are eating through that paint layer. I'm going to do the same thing with some isopropyl alcohol. This is 91% and I'm just dripping some of that on there from my fingertips. I'm using my fingers because I'll get bigger drips and also smaller drips. If you want more controlled drips you can tap it off the end of a brush or spray it on with a sprayer, which you'll see me do here in a minute. Just getting the excess drips from the off of the other page. And letting it sit for just a couple of seconds to work through that paint layer. I'm adding some more drips of water. It will just vary the intensity of the amount of paint that it takes off. And I start to dry it and think better of that because I want to lift more off than what I have right now. So I'm just going to apply a piece of paper toweling and just soak up some of that water and alcohol to expose the base layer of the background. So you can see that I have different intensities of spots. Some are lighter, some are darker depending on how long they sat and how much was taken off with the paper towel. So I'm just doing it again here with water in my fingers to see if I can lift any more. And since that layer of watered down Titan Buff is pretty dry and pretty much done. It's not really taking much off in, at this stage. And you've seen me do this technique before. I really like it as a base layer. I think it adds a lot of texture and interest and just gets a colorway established for whatever you decide you're going to do on top of it. I've just wet that paper towel, dampened it, it's not real wet. And I thought I'll just scrub some of that Titan Buff off of the page in random places just to expose more of the green and get a little bit of a, a kind of a grungier texture going on. So that's what I'm doing here. It's just fun to play with these different background techniques in a journal because you don't have to worry about ruining a really nice piece of art paper or a canvas. It's, it's just a journal. It's a great place to experiment and play. And if it doesn't work, you can always just paint right over it and start over and do something else or collage over it even. So, and I'm just drying this off. 
Okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put another layer of watered down that Titan Buff colored paint all over this page again. And I'm going to just add another layer of texture on this background. So right here I'm adding the paint a little bit thicker and then just adding water with my brush to kind of control the water a little bit better. And now I have just a really soft, wider brush. And I'm just taking a little bit of the paint off as well as smoothing it out a little bit better. This step really isn't necessary. Sometimes I just like to add steps into techniques that I'm trying just to see what will happen. And there I added some water to that brush and got the paint to break a little bit, which I really liked. There's texture there already. And now I'm going to take some 90% or 91% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle and just give it a light overall spray and it creates these cool like little craters in the paint and then I'm just going to dry that off and keep that layer the way it is So now that is completely dry, and I'm just feeling for any wet spots, getting rid of any alcohol or water that seeped through to the other side. Now I'm going to just grab a piece of cast off acetate, it's just from some packaging, and I have that handy next to me, and I'm using a dark green that was used originally on the original background that I did for this page and spreading a layer of watered down dark green acrylic over that whole page now. And what I'm doing is just building up a background with a lot of texture and a lot of interest because what I'm going to be putting on top I know is going to be very simple and the background will play a big part in the overall look of this page. So, plus it's just fun to play. I like to play. So, I'm just scrunching up that acetate. You can do this with cling wrap or wax paper or tissue paper. But I just happen to have the acetate sitting there. So, and it's just lifting some of the paint and creating creases and crevices in that top layer of green so that you can see some of the other layers peeking through from behind it. You notice at the bottom there you can see a lot of the little spots and you notice it more as it gets dried off. Now to make sure that everything that I've done so far stays put, I'm just going to cover the whole page with a layer of fluid matte medium. And it's just a barrier layer so that if something that I put on top of the page ends up being a mistake or it ends up being something I really don't like, I have a much better chance of removing that and taking it back to this stage of the project. So it's just a thin layer of fluid matte medium. So 
So as that layer is finished drying off, I get the idea that I want to put some hot glue shapes on here. And I remembered that I made some shapes that I intended to use as stamps. And I made them out of hot glue and I have not really used them very much. So I decide that I'm going to just glue them to this page. Now you can do the same thing and just take your hot glue gun and either make a shape on your nonstick craft mat or directly on the page if you want to. But since I already had these and I wasn't really using them, I decided that I would experiment with them and put them on this page. So I'm just laying down some super heavy matte gel medium because I know I need something pretty hefty to adhere these to the page because they're pretty thick. So I put some of the medium on the page and then I'm going to go over the top of the entire glue structure with the heavy gel matte medium and I'm just going to speed this process through for you. Now I'm applying some heavy acrylic paint in metallic gold. I'm just going to go over everything with it. So it's all dry and the glue pieces are fairly cool. So I'm just going to apply an even layer of fluid matte medium over the whole page and dry that off. And again, it's just to keep everything that I've done so far in place. So now I have thinned down some black acrylic paint with some acrylic glazing medium, just clear glazing medium. And I'm just going to apply that on top of these hot glue shapes to get some contrast going down in those crevices. And then I decide I'm going to go with a thin layer everywhere else as well. I'm already loving the way this black is creating almost a third color over that metallic gold. So now I'm going to drop some more water droplets onto the glazing liquid and black paint and it's fairly dry but not completely dry so I'm going to try to get some little spots if I can lift some out of the background and I do get a little bit. And I decide I want to lighten up the gold that's on the glue shapes so I'm just on my finger taking some Titan Puff fluid acrylic and going over the shapes to kind of give them a lighter appearance and then I'll recoat them with the gold in an effort to try to kind of lift them up. I didn't want to combine the paints to mix the two, the white and the gold or the Titan buff and the gold because I thought it would alter the amount of metallic a look that I would get out of the gold paint so that's why I did it this way. 
And I do have some of the white sort of poking through, so kind of wait for it to dry and then go over those spots a little bit to darken it up and get rid of any any of the Titan buff that's still showing. But I think that worked pretty good. And then again, drying it off, being careful to keep the heat tool moving so that I don't lift those glue shapes or melt them. And then I'm just going back around the shapes themselves to darken the area be directly behind them, just with some black acrylic on kind of a scruffy brush. And then dripping some water again from the end of my paintbrush to break that up so that I don't have like a, a line or a mark around them where I added the black paint. And then trying to add some back down in to those openings again to bring that contrast back that I lost when I did the second coat of gold. All of this is really simple. It's just a little time consuming. And then I decided I would go with some gold stamp pad ink on just that little bubble stamp, but I didn't get much. And then I took my Stabilo all pencil and ran around the shape, sprayed it with some water and just tipped and dried and tipped and dried the page until I got some really cool kind of random black drips from all the way around all those shapes. And that was it. I really like it. It was fun to do. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel for full, more fun fast Fridays. This one wasn't all that fast, but thanks for watching and in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.